because some people when they're dealing with things they have to do other things to get their mind off of the mm-hmm. pain they're going through so like so how did you channel you know like I'm a person, bro. If I I'm a person. If I'm in pain, I'm gonna get to it. If I lose a girlfriend, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a succeed. If I if I feel like something by hurt my feelings or something, I'm gonna succeed. Anybody that's been I mean, a f- but but to say that you're I'm just gonna succeed. Yeah, no. That's just like going to school to say. No, it's like work hard. It's like it's like it's right. like. I, I I have a formula in me because, like I said, take this back to basketball. I I'm not gonna lose. I'm, we really gotta stay on that topic because. I didn't, when I say I played basketball, I don't mean – I mean, that was my life. You go look at Press Spotlight, I was the number two point guard in the state. Like, so that was – you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been on teams with O.J. Mayo, Bill Walker at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, these things – these are my friends. Like, I'm, niggas that's in the NBA now, This is these is my friends. It's like, my cousins is around NBA niggas. Like, these is my friends. Like, it's not – nothing. nothing is new. You know what I'm saying, but I didn't even get to really describe the person that my best friend was. You know what I'm saying, like it was. It's just a different aura, of shit. I was blessed to be around real people. I was blessed to be around uh, people that uh, can be popular and still keep a level head. Uh, I was the, you know, when we was in school, I always been popular, but I talked to the MRDD kids, man. You know what I'm saying? They like me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the 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 white kids at school, they like me. The teachers, they like me. It might be one that don't. That's cool, because I ain't perfect, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? But the majority, my brand, Troy's brand, I'm a likable person, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody going to like me. If you don't like me, it's like, the people going to wonder why. I don't, me and D-Mo me and D-Mo been out here fighting niggas, hella niggas. Even, uh, yeah, but I know. even them stories, I've made men's with the people I was in beef with, and they like, you cool, like, I'm no. We all cool, like, but I'm a Columbus kid. I'm a Columbus dude, like, so every part of Columbus I've been a part of. You know what I'm saying, like? Yeah. Well, okay, you open the window for this, but I, I remember I think Magic was telling me a story about how y'all got into it, like down <coughs> cats or whatever, and I guess y'all y'all was fighting. I guess the other cats start running away, and you start chasing them. Yeah. Just to. <laughs> yeah. Just to. Just to keep on fighting. Yeah, just to keep on fighting. And the motherfucker, uh, I dove in a crowd of 30 niggas. And uh, got my jaw broke. Nah, real shit, bro. Real I, shit. He said, okay, bro. I dove in a crowd of 30 niggas. Like, I like they was going that way. I chased them down to go get my so shit fucked like, up. So, what, what, I mean, you know, like, what happened? Like, like, I was drunk. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying. I was drunk. Uh, some dudes was... I, was, I had rolled with some other dudes. And... So, you know, when I if I ride with you, if I come with you, I'm with you. These dudes was running from the police. Did the wildest shit I ever saw, bro. Back their car up. Hit the car that my dudes was in. Like, but they, nobody was in it. The car was parked. It's a white Benz that I know. I rode with these niggas, and I know they just borrowed this car from they mom's people. Like, we young. Bro, some dude, he running from the police, but he just, like, getting out the parking lot or whatever. But he smashed right into the white band. Before, boom, I'm gonna hit the white bands and then go. Like he running from the police. I'm like, what the fuck? Motherfucker, like, I'm thinking, like, I don't even know why. We was like, well, I'm gonna get in trouble. We gonna get in trouble. I don't know. But I was riding for the people that I was with. And, you know, I dove in the crowd like 30 people, man. Bro, wire my shit, man. Got my shit wired. And and it wouldn't have never happened. What do you mean by you dove in the crowd of 30 people? It was a crowd of people right there. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Like, what's up, bro? You know what I mean? I think about that decision every day of my life. My face don't even look the same. Whenever they see on this camera, like, man, I know what my face used to look like. I know what my shit look like. You know what I mean? I'm a big dude now, so my big face matches it, but it wasn't, though. You feel me? I got screws in my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, from a decade ago. So, but at the end of the day, I know somebody could remember that because I was rapping at that time. I did the whole Kanye West thing. I didn't make a song. I performed my whole first ever show when my mixtape Money is the Motivation Volume 3 dropped. Wired up, bro. So you actually performed? Couldn't open my shit. I rapped the whole time like this, bro. And nothing else was different. Still fresh-ass outfit. Still 40 niggas behind me. Still 
a problem with females all throughout this bitch. It didn't matter, bro. My fucking mouth was wired up the whole time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was that was one of them things. I remember crying you know, when I woke up. Because I thought when they fixed my jaw, my shit was going to go back to, like, my normal face. Like, they did. I looked this side of my face bigger. Like, and I'm like, I cried. You feel me? That's when it was about cosmetics. Like, I know what I look like. You know what I'm saying? But Kanye got the same shit. So let me, ask you, let me ask you this now. So at, at what point um, did y'all decide, boom, we're going to do this GMC thing? Or, or, or was it organic? GMC. Y'all, did y'all, was just, y'all was just wrapping together first and, and then y'all decided. Like, GM- how, how did that even come about? GMC came from, my brother was still alive when GMC came. That's me sitting in the car in the parking lot. And we, uh, Hustling, and I looked at them niggas and I said, "We the GMC." That's where the derivative came from. GMC, we we, GMC was our first. Right? It can't even be called a gang. It wasn't that. It wasn't a gang. But so, as a, as a young kid, with a were you dealing with a group of men that ain't raised by no man, no fathers and shit like that? We was the GMC. Whatever you want to call that entity. We wasn't making music at that time. We was getting some money. GMC is get money click. That, that was actually- so, you know what I'm saying? But what happened was that turned into a different thing. That's our identity. Anthony dies, boom. We still got the GMC, but now niggas is mad. Now niggas is turned. Everywhere we go, it's a problem. We gotta, I gotta handle my shit. Yeah, I'm rapping, but whoever wants smoke, it's smoke. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, GMC, well, what you're telling me right now is something I. Did not know, but I want clarity. GMC is the first. GMC is... So GMC, it was just a crew of niggas? It, it, it wasn't music? Group. It was... It was. If you go to the original GMC... Yeah. Get money... Well, get money click. And them niggas didn't rap. It was me and Demo, the only two motherfuckers that rap. Uh, that's actually similar to Terror Squad with Fat Joe. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. But what happened was... I, I did start noticing, like, I didn't want a whole bunch of trouble to be happening and shit. Fighting. We doing that type of shit. Now, don't get me wrong, man. I'm talking about some weed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we ain't do nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? But we thought we was getting some money. But that was our identity, period. But, all right, cool. We start, uh, you know, we want to polish up our image. So, when we decided to go business, that's when it became GMCMG. GMC Music Group. And that's when it had nothing more to do with anybody who didn't make music. So all my original friends that was part of it, if they didn't make music, they supported it, but they wasn't into 